Hey everybody, so Nick Ferguson was on property yes the other day and it was absolutely incredible. Uh, it was incredible to learn so much from him and to hear his expertise and everything like that. A lot of the big takeaways that we got from it, obviously like he asks us the things like we want to learn or the things we need to know about our property or whatnot. So it was very specific to our property, which is perfect because we needed that. Um, but one of the huge takeaways we had was him teaching us about water and water management and how to, we get a lot of water on our property. And so for him to be able to tell us how to move that water properly around the property, um, ways to fix, if you've seen previous videos, you've seen that some of our ponds, uh, have like blown out because of, uh, us slacking and not doing the proper drainage. Um, but how to fix that and how to mitigate water and everything like that. Um, and how to retain water on the property. There's actually really not a problem with us retaining water on the property. There's certain parts of our property that are just straight mud right now. <laughs> um, it has grass in it, but it's muddy. Um, but he was able to teach us a lot more about being able to properly manage that part of our property with, with the water aspect. And also tell us how to like fix things, better run the ponds and everything else. Um, so that was really cool. Um, a couple other things he did. I mean, he did a lot, and I'm not even going to go into all of it. Um, but the home sites we have picked out and whatnot, um, we have, he kind of went over those with us. And, uh, you know, said, okay, this is a good spot, you know, because of X, Y, and Z, and this, that, and the other thing. He also went through our backyard um, and as we were actually walking through, I say our backyard, it's back 20 acres, but as we went through our back property, um, he found some trees that we can actually like graft blueberry trees into, uh, or blueberry bushes into and everything like that. And like grow tons of blueberries, which that was like just super exciting for me, uh, because my kids love blueberries. And, uh, if you're a parent, you know how kids can go through fruit. So that was super helpful. Uh, then we also had, sorry, the lighting's kind of bright, um, but uh, then we also uh, discussed like where our garden placement was at. And that was actually a really cool moment for us because where he suggested having a garden was not anywhere that my husband and I would have even thought. Um, it does require cutting down some trees, but we have like 50 million trees on the property. So it's not really that big of a deal. And also with that too, is we need trees like build our house and build some structures and everything like that. So there we go. You know, we needed to, we need trees to build stuff and those can be the beginning of those trees. Uh, plus we need trees for firewood and everything like that as well too. So that was a really cool thing. You know, we figured out where we should put our garden. We figured out how to mitigate water on our property. Uh, we learned some really cool planting tricks with like trees and propagation and everything else. Um, Gosh, there was like 9 million things. Thank God we recorded it because I've already forgotten some of them. Um, but then also walking through the woods and um, there's some spots where we may have springs coming out of our, um, our ridge area. Uh, so he taught us how to like basically, we know how to make spring boxes, but he gave us a much better plan <laughs> for spring boxes. And also talking about like how to pipe that water to the home sites and everything else. And uh, it was just a really cool experience. Um, having someone here on the property that like he didn't need any maps or anything like that. He did have a really cool app, Sunseeker, I think it was. And it literally like shows you where the sun is in the sky for every season and at like certain times and everything like that. So that's how he's able to pick out like literally the best spot for our garden. Um, so that was really cool. But it was so cool seeing this man walk around a property and my husband and I have been listening to Nick Ferguson for years. So we weren't surprised at how knowledgeable he was. And even then the knowledge he gave us was probably like barely scratching the surface of his actual knowledge. Um, but he literally like was a, just the amount of knowledge he shared was insane. Um, being able to walk around and tell us what certain plants are. And he gave us like the Latin names, y'all. <laughs> we had to ask him for like the normal people names. <laughs> Cause he's like, Oh, this is, you know, whatever it was. And we we're just looking at him like, we have no idea what that is. <laughs> Can you say the normal name? It was cool though. Like, and he wasn't saying it to try to sound smart. Like that's literally just what he calls it. He calls them by the Latin names. Um, 
but to be able to have him on the property to help kind of give us a plan and the layout and like giving us an idea of where <clears throat> if we wanted to dig more ponds where those ponds would go and everything like that um, and discussing different ways of doing swales because our property is so wet having just regular swales isn't necessarily the right thing to do and talking about how we can I think it's Murphy pipes or something like that my husband would know them better than me because he actually knew what he was talking about when he was saying this stuff but like setting up I think like Murphy pipes or something like that that allows like drainage or stopping the flow and this that and the other thing like there was a lot of really really good information um we showed him we have a tree on the property that has a beehive in it he was able to tell us like how old the tree was and everything else and the bees and this that and the other thing and even told us like don't do any digging this far out from the tree otherwise you'll hit the feeder roots and you'll like kill the tree kind of deal and everything else and uh you know it's it's one of those things that there was so much information that he provided to us um again we recorded it because there we knew there was gonna be so much information <laughs> that we weren't gonna be able to remember it all but even like you know how to run the driveways to our house sites and like the home sites themselves and everything else and like the best ways to build the driveways and there was some there was some information that like my husband and i had an idea of well i should say it's just my husband because he's a lot of the information i share i learned from my husband um but a lot of the stuff like nick ferguson was sharing my husband had like a little bit of an idea but he does not have the knowledge Nick Ferguson has. So it built upon the little bit of knowledge my husband has to like a bajillion degrees. Um, so it gave us a lot of really good ideas of how to run a property. It was really cool too, because he was able to, we asked him like, okay, with our property, the way it is now with no improvements, which we're going to be doing a lot of improvements, but with no improvements, how many animals can we run on this property? And just, he's like, just the way it is right now, you could run, um, he told us about Irish Dexters, which we actually went to a farm in Florida one time and saw Irish Dexters. Uh, but he's like, you could run like five or six had a cattle with a bull and then like 50 sheep. And that's what you could run on this property right now and not deteriorate it any, just the way it is right now. That was really awesome to hear too, because that gave us kind of a baseline of like our baseline of what we can start with. And then because we will be improving the property and stuff like that, then where we can go from there. Um, and then we obviously plan on clearing out the woods some and having animals running through the back as well, too. But uh, it was nice to get that baseline. And then, of course, he gave us all, all this other information and talking about some software he's developing and everything else like that. That's going to be really beneficial to homesteaders um, in general. But um, it was awesome. It was a really awesome experience. It was so cool to learn from him. Uh, you know, like I've said, I've seen his interviews on different podcasts and um, or heard his interviews on different podcasts and I've seen him on like actual interviews before. But it was another thing of having him actually here on the property and uh, talking with him. And I mean, there was some conversation that was just like random stuff, you know, like just random things that would come up. But uh, it was a very beneficial experience and uh, my husband he actually texted me this morning um, after he got to work he's like I'm so pumped to start working on the property <laughs> and I said I know me too because we have like a full laid out professional plan now um, not like designs or anything like that but because um, that costs more money <laughs> rightly so but um, we have like an actual like idea now and something that we learned like a long time ago is that you should be on a property for one year before you start doing any major changes to it. That way you can see it through all the seasons and everything else and you can see water flow and whatnot and um, also like animal tracks of animals and anything wildlife you may have on the property. But uh, it was kind of cool because he did come two days after we've been on this property for one year. So um, it was a really good moment for us. It was really exciting, and uh, it was a lot of fun to have him out here for four hours. Uh, it was a very hot four-hour <laughs> hike around our property, but it was totally worth it. Um, this man is a very, very knowledgeable man. Um, so if you have a homestead where you're literally, like, starting from nothing... Um, and like I said, my husband actually is very smart when it comes to permaculture and regenerative agriculture, uh, basically the same thing. Um, 
And uh, a lot of the ideas that my husband had were able to be validated by Nick Ferguson and then expanded upon by a lot. Um, because like I said, Nick Ferguson knows way, way, way more than my husband knows. Um, but it was one of those things where I knew my husband was already had a good path for what he wanted this property to be, but there, it's nothing compared to the experience and knowledge that Ferguson has. And, uh, it was one of those things where it was absolutely worth every single penny that we put into it, um, to have him come out here. And, uh, if you are starting, especially with nothing, and I highly suggest staying on your property for one year and whatnot, um, or if you've already been on your property for a couple years or something like that, like I highly suggest, um, if you have a plan on running your homestead in a sustainable, regenerative type way, um, conventional agriculture is very different, but if you have a plan of doing a more regenerative approach, or if you're into permaculture or anything like that, um, definitely check him out. I'll put his link to his website in the comments or in the description below. But, um, highly suggest reaching out or if you can't afford to have him come out, just start listening to him. <laughs> start listening to Nick Ferguson, um, and learning all you can from him, uh, because I can promise you your homestead will be far better off if you even have a little bit of knowledge from him, uh, versus none whatsoever. But uh, it was a fantastic experience. We're really excited to implement the things that he um, taught us and, you know, suggested to us and everything like that. And uh, obviously you all will be along for the ride because I'll be videoing <laughs> most of these uh, adventures. So uh, if you do have any questions, though, about Nick Ferguson or anything like that, like I said, I'll put his link. His link would probably be the best thing. Just follow that and read some stuff or listen to some stuff. Um, I know he's on this um, several different podcasts. I'll probably link those too as well. Um, but if you do have any questions just in general about my heart experience, please drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. And, uh, as always, please like subscribe, hit that bell button and, uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.